Welcome back to Better Agents. Nicholas Harris coming to you live from Better Agency HQ. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about a video marketing strategy that you might wanna go all in on. Now, if you're new to the channel, we typically don't get into these deep specific tactics because at the end of the day, a lot of them are fads. And I don't wanna get you caught up in doing things that are just a fad and going all in on things that will be here today and gone tomorrow. However, there is a fad right now that if I were to say you were to bet all of your chips on, it would be this, and that is YouTube Shorts. Simply put, a YouTube short is just a short form video that you record on your phone, much like you would on TikTok or Instagram Reels, except these videos live on YouTube. Here in this video, I'm gonna predict the future of YouTube Shorts and why your agency needs a strategy for this platform, and we're also gonna talk about three types of short form video content that you can make today. Here's my prediction for the year 2023. YouTube is going to start flexing its muscles and it's gonna do its best to take out both Instagram and TikTok with short form video content and be the home for all short form content. And I know what you're saying. You're saying, Nick, for years, people have been telling me that I need to get on Instagram and do video on Instagram. People have been telling me as of late that I need to get on TikTok and I need to be a TikTok dancer or entertainer. Now you're telling me that I need to be on YouTube. This is incredibly exhausting. Where do I go? with my time and effort. I'm telling you my own opinion that in 2023, YouTube is doing its best to dominate and be the home for all short form video content. YouTube has come out recently and said that starting in 2023, they are gonna start paying its creators 45% of the revenue from the content that they put out. This is incredible. This is more money than TikTok or Instagram, I think combined, pay their creators. They are flexing their muscle and they're telling creators, get off of those platforms if you wanna make money and bring yourself, bring your content, bring it to YouTube because we're gonna pay you more. As is the case when the creators go, so do the audience because people want to follow their favorite people. They want to be entertained. They want a variety of content. And if that content starts to come more onto the YouTube platform, it's night night for TikTok. YouTube has also put a heavy emphasis on its short form content and they're pushing it more in the algorithm. And you've probably experienced this. When you're on YouTube watching Better Agency content or any of the other content you watch on the platform, you probably get inundated with YouTube short form videos all the time. You gotta scroll past them or you get caught in the spider web and you just find yourself going down that rabbit hole. YouTube has said, we're gonna start pushing this stuff very heavily in the algorithm. It's also my prediction that you're gonna to start to see Google short form video content show up at the top of your Google search results. When you go to google.com and you type in how to find this, how to do that, where do I do this, where do I do that, you're gonna to start to see YouTube shorts at the top of that search. And if you think about it, this makes a ton of sense. Google's number one priority is to collect revenue. The best way that they're gonna collect revenue from advertisers is to make sure that people who are coming to the platform enjoy the experience that they're having Having. and YouTube short form video content is a perfect way to answer questions that people have very concisely, very accurately, and to do so in a way that people enjoy because there's an entertainment factor built in to the short form video content. Now, before we get into the three types of short form content that you should be making in your insurance agency, the last thing I'm gonna tell you on why I believe you should be going all in on YouTube Shorts is because you need to have a video strategy in your agency. And the best thing about YouTube short form content is there's no production value needed. It's not required. You can do it on your cell phone. You can do it in selfie format on your phone, record videos. You don't have to even say anything. A lot of these platforms will just allow you to do captions. Or to have somebody else narrate over it's low production and the, the barrier to entry is very easy. It's very minimal. And this is why you want to tap your toe into the water with video by doing short form content is you don't need all this stuff. This stuff is fun. It's cool. I like it, but you don't need it. You don't need it for your agency. So it allows you to jump in with both feet and to go all in with video. Now let's talk about three types of YouTube shorts that you should be creating in your agency today. The first category that you should be making videos for is the how-tos. Remember, Google is gonna start prioritizing YouTube shorts in its search results. So you wanna show up at that moment. So you should be creating shorts around the how-tos. How do you find cheaper car insurance? How do you do X? How do you do Y? How do you get a quote? How do you buy insurance? How do you do this? How do you do that? You wanna be very helpful. You wanna think about what people are searching for in a search bar on Google, and you wanna make shorts 
pertinent to that. You wanna make 30 second videos, 45 second videos where you're just answering one thing and it's very easy for people to do. You have a very simple call to action, get a quote, go to my website, do this, fill out a form. You wanna give people education. This is gonna be very important for you to do if you want the algorithm to start pushing your content in search. On that note, I would also be making short form content that's affinity based. So I live in Mesa, Arizona. I'm wanting to make content around Mesa or to appeal to Mesa residents, people who live in this area that I might wanna write a policy for. So I'm mixing in those how to's, I'm mixing in my titles, I'm mixing in my keywords, I'm mixing in all that stuff with affinity based locations or things that are pertinent to my niche or to my location, again, because I wanna show up at the top of a search result. Now the second category that I would make content Content for is my brand. And this is where a lot of people, they either do really well in it or they do really poorly in it because they get stuck in their head about it. This is where you can make your entertainment videos. This is where you can do your crazy office dances. This is where you can highlight somebody in the community. This is brand, this is entertainment, this is fun. Again, you don't have to have high production. You can put text on the screen. You can do little sketches, little skits all sorts of things that you'd be doing in your agency to just highlight the brand, highlight you guys as people, as humans, advocates in the community, advocates for the niche, whatever the case might be, this is brand focused, this is fun, there's a very light call to action, you're not trying to just sell, 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 but you're trying to make people aware of who you are. And this is a great thing, this is kind of the stuff that thrives on TikTok. And now I know what you're saying, Nick, should I abandon what I'm doing on TikTok and just bring that stuff over? I probably would. I have a TikTok, but my TikTok is just barbecue videos. I don't put anything really better agency related, at least I haven't in a long time. It's just a fun outlet for me, but I would be putting this stuff on YouTube. The third category that you should be making YouTube shorts for is your point of view, your perspective, your opinion. If you spend any period of time around insurance agents, you'll learn very quickly that a lot of them have very strong opinions. They could be opinions about price, about carriers, about claims, about coverages, it doesn't matter. They have very strong opinions about how the insurance experience should be in their agency. That's why they're in business. They're independent agency owners. They're wanting to do things their own way. They have opinions on that. Use YouTube shorts to evangelize those opinions, to talk about them, to proclaim them, to get customers on board, to use it as beacons and fences where people are either gonna be very attracted to your message or they're going to be repelled. Use this as a place where you spend 30 seconds, 45 seconds or a minute and you're just talking about your opinions, your perspectives because again, these perspectives are gonna go out into the marketplace, people are gonna get in, engaged in them, they're gonna see them as they're scrolling and something might resonate with somebody that you're talking to or, or who's watching it and this is a great avenue and a great reason why YouTube Shorts, it's a great place for your opinion. Make sure you check out some of the YouTube shorts that we have here on the Better Agency YouTube channel. And while you're at it, like this video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below, let me know what you're using short form video for in your agency and how we can be a better assistance or answer any questions that you might have. We'll see you again on the next video.